Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Satsang. Wow, this is our first meeting in 2023. It seems that every month this year I've been very busy, but now we start a regular weekly meeting. So tonight is Tuesday and next week will be Thursday and the week after Tuesday. So roughly it will alternate between Tuesday and Thursday because sometimes people have an obligation on one other night. Yeah. So um, it feels a little exciting for me. I looked back. Our last meeting was on December the 8th last year, which was in fact my 78th birthday. So it seems I celebrated my birthday with a Zoom meeting, which must have been such a good meeting that I haven't done any more meetings until tonight. So um, recently we've had a number of new seekers, serious, sincere people showing up in, uh, in our house. This is very touching, of course. And this is, of course, challenging because somehow if you're really sincere, it immediately creates a kind of priority decision inside you. And some of you, I think, are right now grappling with this great issue. Um, so I would just like to point out that from the 25 years I've spent now sharing, I would say that if you're very seriously interested to live in the present moment, to live in the most natural way that we're in fact designed to live, the way of living in our essence, which is our birthright, if that is something that's a high priority, then you need to give yourself 10 years. It could be 10 seconds, of course, but my experience working with many people is that it doesn't really take 10 seconds. 10 seconds may be a wonderful glimpse, a wonderful taste of what's possible. And I can see many people on the screen tonight have indeed had such a glimpse. And of course, a glimpse is very beautiful because it's like tasting chocolate or tasting ice cream. Once you've tasted chocolate, it's not so easy to walk past a sweet shop for the rest of your life. And we all know about ice cream, that once you've had your very first ice cream at four years old, you can't walk past the, uh, an Italian ice cream shop very easily. So in the same way, once we've had a really true taste, of what is our very nature, nothing special. You can say it's completely ordinary. So once we've had a taste of this very ordinary but wonderful moment, a real true moment, very uncomplicated, very maybe undramatic, perhaps very, in a way, ordinary. So once we've had such a glimpse, such a taste, then, of course, it creates inside you a longing, and this longing gradually perhaps creates a priority in your life. And uh, my experience has been that it can be quite a few years between this taste and a decision, a kind of priority decision. It's surprising, or maybe it's not surprising, as human beings, we so easily get caught up in the toy shop and forget about our own essence. So uh, now I'm 78 years old. So if you want to go on this wonderful journey, uh, this wonderful adventure with John David, 
uh, you need to decide soon because uh, I don't know if I'll still be giving these meetings when I'm uh, 88. Seems like a possibility because I have two, as you know, two young daughters who keep me running around. So with their help, it could be I'll still be giving these meetings in 10 years time, but probably not in 15 years time. So um, from what I can understand, if you really want to be free, there's no nothing better than working with somebody who can guide you because it's there's so many offers so many kind of spiritual offers out there in the world and many of these spiritual offers don't really do very much you can get easily involved in breathing through one nostril and breathing out through the other nostril and then you can't breathe at all all kind of wonderful breathing stuff, you know, and you can do all these different spiritual techniques and uh, they don't really give you very much because what you really want, you've already got it. You've got it. It's you. It's your essence. Okay. So, so I think we start with our meditation. So sit comfortably for now, probably 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to close our eyes. And we're going to look inside. And we're going to bring our attention to the strongest that's happening inside right now. So this could be some thoughts, this could be some feelings, this could be a body sensation, and of course it could just as easily be silence, a deep emptiness. So bring your attention and leave your attention and don't try to change anything. Completely accept whatever you find.
Okay, so take another look and bring your attention to whatever is the strongest. And don't try to change anything. Okay, good. So let's take another look. And this time, let's give ourselves permission to fall deep, deeply inside.
Okay, so what, <clears throat> when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back into the meeting. <clears throat> So I'm looking for a volunteer to share what happened during the meditation. Where's Lakshmi? She's good at volunteering. Ah, okay. So let's hear from Lakshmi. Do you hear me, John David? Yeah, we hear you. I haven't been. No, I don't, if you talk, I'd probably see you also. Yeah. <laughs> um, today, nothing spectacular because um, my my stomach is overloaded from very yummy uh, dinner, <laughs> and um, there are noises <laughs> um, in the room over us. And it, um, um, I didn't have a really silent meditation today. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So if Om is listening, maybe you can help me a bit because uh, uh, I'd like to be able to see the speaker. Sure. Yeah, if you click with the mouse on the right upper side on the screen, there's a button that says view. In German, yeah. Ah. So oh. gallery, if I yeah. click gallery, I, I get the whole everybody. Correct. They've all disappeared now. But anyway, and then if I want just one, then you click on Alex. Where do I click? On uh, Sprecher. What? Sprecher. Sprecher. Yeah. Okay. So, Lakshmi, talk. Count to ten slowly. <laughs> Lakshmi, count to ten slowly. Yeah. Do you hear me now? I hear you. I don't see you. I'm trying to see you. If someone can help me. Yeah. Ich weiß nicht, wie das geht hier. Uh, mm, okay. You'll have to come and rescue me. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, maybe by the time uh, the next person starts sharing, uh, Owen will rescue me and I'll be able to see you. So who would like to um, share something? Oh, I just got Lakshmi, uh, not Lakshmi, Padma. Padma, she's one of our younger ones. So I'd like to get this up here. And I'd like to see Padma. Okay. Okay, Padma, count to 10 slowly. 10, 9, 8, 1, 2, 3. Hello, hello. Okay, very good. Now I can see you now. Good. Okay, so, okay. So, what happened in the meditation for you? Um, it changed a lot. First, there was um, a lot of energy in the here in the breast area, and then there came some thoughts. But this energy was it felt a little bit like excitement. It was. And the strong, yeah. And then they come thoughts, and then um, was changing. It was um, the end. It got more quiet then, but still thoughts came popping up in between. Right. Right. Okay. So that wasn't so bad for ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? 
got some he got some quiet moments. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna see if I can see everybody. Ah, now I can see everybody. Okay. Somebody else like to share? It's a good way to uh, start the evening. Ah, Kashi is there. Yeah, okay, Kashi. Go ahead. I can't hear you or see you. Kashi, if you hear me, can you uh, speak? So I don't mind need rescuing again because it doesn't work because I see Lakshmi, which is very nice, of course, but I'm hoping to speak to Kashi, so then it doesn't really work. Yeah, Kashi, you just have to speak. Kashi, just speak. Okay, I just speak, speak and then I'm uh, visible. Yes, yes. Now it's perfect. Okay. Very good. Okay. okay. When you stop speaking, immediately I hear how much the birds next to me are uh, talking to each other. And further, it became very silent. And it was very nice that birds. And sometimes a thought came and then there was silence and the birds. And I felt that I became more and more relaxed, sinking in my body. Right, right. So that was a very good uh, experience you had, yeah? Because to hear the birds very clearly, it means there wasn't many thoughts, I think. Your mind yeah, was pretty yeah. empty. Yeah, there were not many thoughts. And I yeah. was surprised that I didn't hear them before so much because I was listening at you. And then right, right. So this is a this is in a way underlining what I was saying just now about we can come to a, make a priority in our life because you know just for ten minutes um, there were some thoughts and other things happening and then suddenly for a few minutes at the end you were very present and then into that presence came the birds because they were there all the time but. They were a bit in the background because of thoughts, maybe, or body sensation, maybe. And then when you got really quiet in the end, then suddenly the birds appear to be very noisy, but actually they haven't changed, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, but at first I was focused on what you were talking to, and then you drop this out, or how do you say? Uh, and yeah. Right, right. Yeah, good, good. Okay, so let's try one more time. Somebody like to volunteer? Ah, there's Deanne. Well, let's have Deanne. <coughs> okay, Deanne, go ahead and say something, and then you, I hope I see you. Ian, are you there? Ian. Ah, yes. Now, now you can hear me? Yeah, and see you. Yeah, yeah. Mm, very, good. very good. Yeah. So what, <clears throat> what happened for you? Energy, quietness, disappearing. All right. Um, sometimes tension and more and more openness. Okay, so I think quite a lot of the people in this meeting know Deanne, and can you see how good he looks tonight? So actually everything he spoke somehow um, explains the way he looks. So I immediately felt you were very quiet when you appeared suddenly. So that's very good, very good. Yeah. And is your daughter still talking to you? Yes, <laughs> but I'm not sure if she's talking to you again. <laughs> probably not, probably not. I hope one, once is enough, once is enough. Okay, so, um, okay, maybe we do one more. There's another volunteer. 
Anybody else like to volunteer? I can so easily volunteer you, but I prefer a bit that you volunteer yourself. What about one of our Russian speakers? Ah, uh, I think we'll have, well, go ahead, go ahead. Let's have one of you Russians. Come on, Hanuman, step forward. With this name, you have to volunteer, you know? We have Shiva to translate tonight. Are you there? Da, da. Yes, this. Da, uh, yes, I'm here. Okay. So uh, we haven't spoken for many months now. We haven't seen each other for many months now. Ми не розмовляли вже декілька місяців і не бачили один одного. In fact, it was probably in the beginning of the winter when we last spoke. І, мабуть, на початку зими останній раз ми говорили. And I must say, at that, at that time, we weren't quite sure what would happen during the winter because uh, you were having trouble with electric. І на той час ми були не впевнені, що трапиться далі, тому що були проблеми з електричеством. I often like to share stories which could be considered miracles. І я можу поділитися такими історіями, які виглядають як диво якесь. And uh, back at the beginning of winter, it seemed definitely important to get a generator, to buy a generator. На початку зими було дуже важливо знайти генератор для енергії. And Bakhti and Hanuman, they were maybe talking together in the hotel about, oh, we must find a generator. І Бакті з Хануманом говорили в отелі про те, що треба знайти такий генератор. And there was a guest who overheard the conversation. І там був гість, котрий почув цю розмову. He said, oh, I've got a generator, I can sell it to you. І він сказав, о, в мене є генератор, я можу його вам продати. So a few days later we had a generator. І пізніше в нас з'явився генератор. And sure enough it was very important because at a certain point in the winter there were big power cuts that ran for maybe 8 hours at a time. І це було дуже важливо, тому що посеред зими були відключення світла, котрі тривали до 8 годин. And of course many people wanted to buy generators. І багато людей хотіли придбати також генератор. And in fact, the, the, same, the same man sold us another generator because we made a donation to the village in Tripedia and we gave the local, um, I don't know what they call it, like a citizen's meeting place. We gave them also a generator so people could charge their phones and, uh, and be a bit warm. І також ця людина надала інший генератор, тому що ми зробили деякі пожертвування е, на, на рахунок цього села, і там інші люди теж змогли зражати телефони в цьому місці. Yeah. Anyway, that's all a big story. Uh, what, what happened in the meditation, Hanuman? Так, ну, це така велика історія. Хануман, а що, що ти відчув під час медитації? Mm. Для мене, очевидно, одно зараз, от за прошедший рік, за в моменті зараз, я розумію, що я от цю от простую, самую важную вещь не розумію. For me, for the last year, for the past year, one thing became obvious that this only one simple thing actually i don't really understand uh, which simple thing you don't understand какую простую вещь ты не понимаешь
Who am I? Oh, you don't understand who you are. Okay, well, you're not the only person who doesn't know who they are. <laughs> Ты не понимаешь... Да, ты я понял, ты не понимаешь, что тот, кто ты, но у тебя ни одного такие проблемы, я еще парочку людей знаю в этой комнате. И забавная штука в том, что ты когда приходишь к пониманию того, кто ты, и ты обнаруживаешь, что ты всегда знал, кто ты. Но это очень трудно объяснить кому-то другому. До чего я сказал про шоколадку, вот ты задаешь один кусочек шоколада. But try to explain to somebody about the taste of chocolate. It's very difficult. It only really works when you put a piece of chocolate in your mouth. And you immediately know what is the taste of chocolate. И ты одразу знаешь, как смакуешь шоколад. И чтобы помочь себе ответить сегодня на этот прекрасный вопрос, I have something very nice to announce. у меня есть хорошее объявление. So this is the English version of Ahamsparana. Это английская версия книги Хамс Пурама, которая называется «Проблески самореализации». И, наверное, все знают об этой книжке, или, возможно, у кого-то уже есть даже копия. And um, as you know, we've translated this book from English into German. И, может, вы знаете, что мы перевели эту книжку с английского на немецкий. Was, uh, Она уже доступна несколько месяцев. И пару дней назад я получил перевод последней главы с тамильского. Because the close devotees of Ramana Maharshi, they speak Tamil. Потому что самые близкие преданные Рамана Махарши говорили на тамильском. It was also Ramana Maharshi's basic language. И это был его родной язык. So in the south of India, there's this big state called Tamil Nadu. Uh, на юге Индии есть большой штат, который называется Tamil Nadu. And um, in that place they speak Tamil. И там они говорят на тамильском. And uh, again, through almost a miracle, when we were publishing our Tamil version of Who Am I? И по случайности большое, когда мы печатали эту версию этой книги, we were introduced to a man who's published a lot of his own books in Tamil. A spiritual man who's published uh, many books in Tamil. И нас познакомили с человеком, который сам напечатал и написал много книг на тамильском. And uh, actually, already for two years, he's been helping us. Uh, first of all, he helped us with the English, um, the English book, because there was a lot of Tamil spoken by Ramana in the book, which we had to translate. И последние пару лет он нам очень сильно помогал с переводом вот этой вот книжки, потому что много текста было на тамирском, на котором говорил Раман. И за последние четыре месяца он перевел всю книгу уже полностью. 
И это позволит нам напечатать эту книгу уже до конца года. This feels like a very beautiful service towards Brahmana's closest devotees. И это такой как прекрасный подарок от самых близких преданных Рамана. So I have a quotation from Ramana here. У меня есть цитата от Рамана тут. He, he was asked a question. Его спросили. The objective of self-inquiry is to destroy the ego. Am I correct? Что целью самого прошания является уничтожение эго. Это так? And of course, Ramana gave a very masterful answer, not what you might have expected. И Рамана дал очень мастерский ответ, наверное, не то, что вы ожидаете. And this is the crux, this is the most important part to understand who am I. И это самое важное, что надо понять в этом вопросе, кто я. So his answer, what does not exist, cannot be destroyed. Его ответ был, то, что не существует, не может быть уничтожено. What really exists cannot be destroyed because it is immutable and imperishable. А то, что существует, оно тоже не может быть уничтожено, потому что оно иллюзорно. So where is the question of destroying anything? И откуда вот тогда возникает вопрос уничтожения чего-либо? Experience of mind is a self-contained illusion. Uh, чувство самости или властности – это иллюзия. All that is necessary in order to dissolve it. И все, что необходимо, чтобы рас, растворить его. Is that you look properly at it. That you look properly at it. She was in the back translator. Okay. Uh, then you find out that it was never there. Okay. So this is, in a way, this is the complete crux of Vedanta, uh, Advaita Vedanta, where it, everything is one, And the mind simply doesn't exist. And of course, we have been brought up from a young age to believe that the mind exists. And that in fact, we've been brought up to believe I am the mind. So this is, uh, you know, actually very simple. But it's not simple until we really see it. And of course, living in Ukraine, you've got many reasons to not see such a direct thing, because in your everyday life, I can imagine it's often very, very difficult. Is that right? Да, для нас каждый день это вызов, это новый день, и мы не знаем, может быть, этот день наш последний, но мы также можем чувствовать, я могу чувствовать вот этот момент жизни, момент сейчас в связи с этой трудной ситуацией. It, that, that, uh, yeah, it's correct uh, because for us now every day is a challenge because uh, it might be the last day, but at the same time I can feel every day, every moment, aliveness, aliveness right. in this day. Right, all right. So let's just uh, 
Let's just have uh, Bakshi saying hello. Bakshi, would you like to say hello? Bakshi, you want to say hello? Because Han Hanuman and Bakshi together are keeping the retreat center running in uh, Tripedia, which is just outside Kiev. Потому что Бхакти с Хануманом вместе сейчас занимаются центром в Триполе каждый день. So if you could say one, two, three, Bhakti. Okay, ah, very good. We got, I think we got them both on the screen. So they've been, they've been living in the retreat center for this whole year with their children. Они живут тут последний год в ретритном центре с детьми. And uh, during this time, they've made the hotel available for travelers. И это все время отель был доступен для людей, которые путешествовали. And in the last uh, period, uh, the the seminar uh, seminar um, seminars have become popular again. And so there's a number of seminars happening now in the spring. И в последние месяцы семинары опять начали появляться. Есть уже какие-то записи на весну. So it feels a very it feels very lovely that after a difficult winter, without often without electricity for many hours, um, that they're able to make this facility available. И это очень трогательно, что несмотря на тяжелую зиму с отключениями света, они смогли сохранить, чтобы это э, место оставалось доступным. Uh, you like to say back to you? Может, хочешь сказать что-то? Привет всем! Hi, everyone! Рада всех видеть! I'm glad to see everybody! У Бахти такое непростое время. Бахти has a difficult time now. Because of your family, I think. Из-за семьи, да? Не, ну, оно может быть где-то причиной послужило. Я не знаю, пока не знаю. Ну, вот внутреннее такое состояние вообще полностью. Я как-то... Как сейчас, Шивочка, сейчас я... Can you translate for me? Какая-то потерянность, что ли? Я не знаю. То ли это зима, депрессия какая-то вот такой вот период. Maybe partly because of a family, but in general, it's just some inner feeling. It's hard to describe, but it's something like lostness or a depression, maybe because of the winter. Right. Well, you have a lot of reasons to be depressed. You had the winter, but you've also got the situation of the war, which goes on. And this is, of course, affecting your family and affecting you, I'm sure. У тебя может быть много причин чувствовать депрессию. Конечно, из-за зимы, но также из-за войны, из-за семьи. Ну, стараешься где-то... В подсознании это все откладывается, то есть все, что произошло за год войны, да, то есть все как бы разрушилось, ну, то есть все, все старое разрушилось, а вот что еще вот с новым делать, я пока еще не знаю. Yeah, I think I unconsciously everything that makes an impact, and I had feeling like everything uh, what was in the past got destroyed. And but uh, there is no nothing new came to changes yet. Uh, right. Well, this this may be true on the outside, but on the inside, of course, you have something that is always present, which is the most beautiful thing. Это может быть выглядит так снаружи, но на самом деле изнутри, если посмотреть, что у тебя есть всегда что-то, что всегда присутствует здесь, и это самая важная вещь. 
who we send the night night glasses to. So I have I have two students who are fighting in the war. One is well known. What was his name? Uh, Shiva. Sadhu. Sadhu. Who? Sadhu. Sadhu. Sadhu yeah. So so Sadhu um, was um, having a, a business to supply. Uh, food for animals, for pets, was his, uh, he, he has a company. And in the beginning of the war, he joined the army. And we've been able to send him a few things to help him. He's in the front line against Belarus. So he's, he's not really in a very dangerous place. But anyway, he's uh, sometimes sending videos of his um, situation in the war. Алексей Тонслей. У меня есть два студента, которые сейчас тоже воюют в Украине. Один из них, может, вы его знаете, Саду. Он там занимался, он помогал животным, и мы тоже оказали им там недавно помощь, помогли ему. И он иногда отправляет нам видео тоже с, с линии фронта. Он не на самом опасном направлении находится, он где-то там на, возле Белоруссии, но тоже где-то в тылу. So anyway, so anyway, very nice to have a little talk tonight, and uh, we'll talk a bit more next week. Очень здорово с вами было поболтать. Давайте еще на следующей неделе тоже. But maybe somebody would like to dialogue a bit about this quotation. Может быть, кто-то хочет по поводу этой цитаты тоже поделиться. What does not exist cannot be destroyed. То, что не существует, не может быть уничтожено. So this is a, a kind of strong challenge for us. Because most of us have been uh, raised up in our family to believe that the thoughts, the mind, is me. So the idea that the mind um, doesn't exist, this, of course, feels like I doesn't, I don't exist. So this is very challenging, and because it's so challenging is one of the reasons why it takes time, some years, not some seconds, to really understand who am I. So even when you kind of intellectually understand, it doesn't mean that you really understand. And many of you on the screen tonight, I can see, have had your own glimpse of this chocolate, this wonderful chocolate, which we can't easily describe. So perhaps somebody would like to dialogue a bit about this quotation. I'll have to choose Kieran, I think. Hello, Kieran. Kieran is uh, very busy down at our Spanish house in Denia. Would you like to say a few words, Kieran? Mm. Ah, there he is. So, um, now that's everything we know. Yeah, this this ego, and if. So with this ego, we meditate. With this ego, we understand or we think we understand uh, what, uh, how everything is working and what is the, what is, uh, what are we doing and what is the direction and what, what do I, what do I want and I want to, realize the self 
and this is all 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 ego everything what what what, what is, is is this ego and this it is so um we i we always forget it yeah so and then comes this quote from ramana maharshi that um just hit the bullseye that just just re reminds us yeah everything even that all this 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 so spiritual stuff yeah we try to understand it's all our ego and only when uh, there is we come to silence and we don't think and we don't want and we don't want realization we don't want a glimpse so we don't yeah if there is not this yeah this this and that's it <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he he did quite well actually. We him, oh God! We give him nine and a half out of ten for that. It's quite a good effort. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting because, of course, we had a, a a retreat in the in the in the German community, the Hitov community, recently. And because the quality of people who came to that retreat spontaneously we decided or i decided that we would have a silent retreat and and um, there was a profound silence from the first moment that the group came together and just spending i think was it four days three or four days uh, spending these time in a group of people all being silent together it was such a wonderful uh amazing support for accessing what we've just been talking about. Because somehow silence is like the path, you could say. The path is, the, is silence. And as you rightly said, any, any even spiritual ideas we have is all the ego. It's all not true. It's all illusion. So even even we spend many, many years doing reading spiritual books and going to spiritual meetings um, and hearing all this stuff. Um, it doesn't in any way qualify us as silence does. And it's, uh, it was very touching for me personally that we could have this retreat in silence. And I think for many people, the silence brought some greater depth that weekend. I don't know if somebody likes to share who was at the weekend, something about silence. Thanks, Kieran. Who was, uh, who was there that would like to share something? Okay. Ah, I can see Lavania there. Would you like to share a little bit? She got a new name. She got a new name. I've forgotten what it what, what it means, but something nice. Hi. Oh, I think Maybe. it was like beauty and grace. Ah, beauty <laughs> and remember. grace. Right, right. Yeah. Grace or beauty, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, um the weekend. Okay, you want to know about uh, well, stillness? not so much the weekend. I mean, you can include that, but mainly about the silence, you know? Okay. So it was a real, um, really good experience for me because I always wanted to do something like this, like um, a stillness retreat. Um, so I enjoyed it very much just to not, that I not have to speak and that I not have to respond to somebody uh, or someone. Um, and so it was a, a really profound um, experience to yeah, fall deep in, inside to myself, yeah. Right, right. Because in a way, when you, when you don't speak for a few days, something relaxes, yeah? Because we, we're a common sort of experience of life is that somebody says, hello, and then we say something, you know. Yeah, I, we have to say something, yeah. 
We almost have to, yeah. It's a kind of human rule. If somebody says yeah. hello, you have to say, yeah, my name is Lavanya and yeah, you know, hi. blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I did, some... I did this twice today. So it, <laughs> I did this twice today. So I was watching myself. I met people at, on the street and they were like, oh, hi. And I was like, yeah, hi, the weather was good today. And they were like, yeah, the weather was good and blah, blah, blah. And then you go on, <laughs> on your way and then the next person is coming. And um, so being just quiet is, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And especially when somebody else says, let's be quiet, then you don't have to decide it. It's just decided. Yeah. And then you can just fall into it and you yeah. can get the, the value of it. And um, somehow when we, we do become silent for some time, even if it was like in the beginning of the meeting, we were just silent for 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is already enough that everything gets slower and we come more to the essence. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right. Okay, somebody else like to um, volunteer? Somebody who didn't speak. So I've got half of an Indian student, so maybe I should invite her. I never managed to have a full Indian student, so it's nice to have a half. She doesn't mind being a half Indian student. The other half is Swiss. Would you like to say something, Shivani? Hello, everybody. <laughs> are you are you speaking to us from the mountain? Yes, I'm not up the mountain. I'm in the mountain at the moment. In the mountain, okay. Yeah, I mean, like down in the mountain. All right, all right. So you didn't come to that retreat, but uh, you were staying with us for a week. And I think in that week, you had some moments of silence. Mm hmm. You remember? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I thought maybe you'd forgotten us that you're in, living in your beautiful house on the mountain. Shivani is lucky to live in a beautiful house high up in the mountains in Switzerland. And she looks out uh, across the mountain covered in snow and ice. And I think she has to go up the mountain on one of these, um, I don't know what they call them, these people carriers. Yeah, is that right? Yes, I what, think oh, lifts, cable cars. Huh? Cable cars, I think it's the cable English car. Oh, right, yeah, a cable car, on a cable car. And then she has to walk even higher up the mountain. So she's uh, she's really a, almost a, a goat. <laughs> Not exactly a goat, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, it's nice to see you again. Uh, yeah. Yes. Are you doing some meditation okay. up on your hill, on your mountain? Yes, I do. Mostly every day, sometimes even twice a day. It always depends a bit. Right, right. But it wow. gets, it become, it became a, a, a routine until now. A routine yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Not many weeks left, but. So maybe this is your the half Indian blood you have inside, you know? Yes. Meditating every day. 
Okay, good. Nice to talk with you. So I want to I want to just give you another quotation because uh, the first one was um, anyway, okay. So the first one I gave you was um, you know very fundamental. It's completely fundamental to realize that all this stuff that we're so busy kind of believing, you know, whether it's the spiritual stuff or some other stuff, it's all not really true. And it's not going to bring you to understand who you are. And there is an alternative way of coming to who you are, which we could call surrender. So I wanted also to read a quotation from Ramana about surrender. So he was asked, is surrender a means to overcome the vastness? The vastness are structures of the mind, thus resulting in realization. And then he said, surrender is to let go of everything without anticipating or expecting anything in return. Letting go of everything also encompasses abandoning the aspiration to realize the self. Suppose you are holding a red hot iron ball. Your hand is quivering in unbearable pain. Somebody suggests to you that you let go. If your response is, what be benefits will I obtain if I let go? Will not the other person wonder, poor fellow? So in other words, if you're holding a red hot ball in your hand, you will immediately let it go. You, know? you won't even think about it. You will just let it go because the pain is so great. There's no question. Just let go. Completely let go. And Ramana is suggesting that we can do the same thing and this is the fastest way to come to self-realization. This is the fastest route to come to your essence. And that is to come into a deep trust with everything that happens in your life. You come in a deep trust, in a deep yes, and you accept what is coming to you in your life. There's going to be good stuff, not so good stuff, and maybe particularly stuff we don't want to have in our life. Right now, Savita is yawning because we talked about this this afternoon, because at the moment she's a bit in one of her usual resistances. Let's see what she has to say about surrender, shall we? Hello. Um... Hello. About surrender. Mm, yes, yeah, it's uh, very difficult. Surrender. In, so in my in my Go body, ahead. it's um, fighting very much. What's happening in your body? Um, there is a war going on. <laughs> okay. I don't know. So yeah, as well I'm... as well when the the meditation starts, it was very um not 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 silence, it was really wild in my body and um yeah. Okay. So you know, in our conversation today we were saying or I was saying to you that this is a, a moment for you because uh, at the moment, Savita has some resistance to uh, some tasks she, she's going to perform tomorrow. And she's a bit resistant to that task. And um, yeah, she wanted to change the task to something that she 
would like a bit more or maybe very much. Maybe she would prefer talking to Picasso or um, feeding the, the birds in the, in, in the courtyard, something like this would be much more her choice. Um, but somehow the flow of community life has decided something different, yeah? And I was suggesting to her that this can be seen as a very positive moment because when you get inside a deep resistance coming up, this is not really about something in small in particular that you do or you don't want to do in your life. That when you have these moments of deep resistance, then basically you need to see that you're resistant to the flow of life itself. You know, you're, you're resistant to life. And of course, that's not anything any of us want in our life, to be resistant to life. And so this is an opportunity to look behind, look behind what is the you know, idea that you don't like to do something, look behind that and see uh, what is the what what is behind there's usually something behind did you get any 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 clues about yes that? yes um, there was something i i think i really hate um i hate myself in the past i i didn't like me in the past when i look um when i look um to the past and uh. so many parts and um yeah for so and when when i drive somewhere else and so on it's it's more confronting we me with my past I think, yeah. Yeah. Right. and as well that I that I'm not not here. I'm um, I'm sending out. I yeah. Right. To be not right. in a part of something. Right. Right. Well, that's, that's one way of, to look at the situation. And uh, probably there are other ways also to look at the situation. You could consider yourself an ambassador for this wonderful place, taking out the message. Mm. Because along the way, you're going to meet all kinds of people, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay, nice to talk to you again and share with you again. Let's see if there's somebody else who'd like to pick up on this uh, question of surrender. So maybe I, we, we invite uh, Shanti. She's uh, at the moment surrendering to her driving teacher. Is that right? How's your driving lessons going? Can you say a few words? Hello? Ja. Ah, okay. Zum Thema Hingabe. <laughs> Maybe you go a little bit back. You're a bit close to the screen or close to the camera thing. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Now you're yeah, it's kind of sharper hard. now. Or you can come a bit closer, right. but not. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Das ist ein, ein heißes Thema. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. 
I did. Are you um, I mean, I, I, I remember that the, the first driving instructor didn't last very long. You ich kann mich erinnern, dass der erste Fahrlehrer nicht mehr lange gewährt hat, dass sich ihm nicht hingeben. But maybe now, with your new instructor, how, how is your surrender? Wie ist da deine mm. Hingabe? Also, ich muss sagen, ich hatte bis jetzt sehr verschiedene Fahrlehrer kennenlernen innerhalb dieser Zeit. Ich habe zwei Fahrlehrer, die grundsätzlich für mich zuständig sind. Different kinds of driving um, constructors. Yeah. I had two men who are responsible for me. Yeah. Und ich muss sagen, dass ähm, also diese Fahrlehrer, die äh, zurzeit für mich zuständig sind, die sind natürlich keine Tyrannen, nicht wie der Ärzte. These two driving instructors who are now with me, they are not like tyrants, like the first one. Okay. Aber okay. es gibt keinen perfekten Fahrlehrer. But there is no perfect driving instructor existing. Wenn der eine okay. viel verlangt und möchte, dass If, du jetzt in dem Moment perfekt alles machst. When the one is demanding a lot and wants you to make everything perfect. Dann kann es sein, dass du jemanden anderen kennenlernst, der von dir eigentlich fast nichts erwartet und äh, alles selbst übernimmt zu machen. And then there, it can happen that you meet another instructor who doesn't uh, demand anything and uh, takes basically over everything. Man kann okay. immer die ganze Zeit unzufrieden sein, aber es ist die Frage der Hingabe und der Kooperation. You can, um, Un, you can the whole time be unsatisfied, but it's a question of um, of surrender and cooperation. <laughs> so do, you, do you think you're do you think you're going to pass your test this year? Glaubst du, dass du dein um, Führerschein dieses Jahr machst? Dieses Jahr definitiv, ja. <laughs> this, this year definitely. <laughs> Das wird passieren, ja. Diese, ja, definitiv. Ja, das ist gut. Ich fahre jetzt mit einer Frau. I'm not driving mit with ihr kann woman. man und mit ihr kann man sprechen, mit ihr kann man kooperieren. I can talk to her and we can cooperate. Ja, ich kann ihr erklären, wie ich am besten lerne und sie hört mir zu und macht so gut sie kann. <lacht> I can I, I can explain how I, I how I'm able to learn and she's listen to me and yeah try to explain it to me. Good. Yeah. Okay. So okay, well we we'll make a big we'll make a big celebration when you pass. Wir machen eine große Feier, wenn du deinen Führerschein geschafft hast. Okay. Ich habe nichts gegen. Or the other possibility is just to wait wait a bit and get a Telstra car because they have a self-driving software. You can Oder just sit in the car, and the car will drive itself. Ein fahrzeug Fahrzeug bekommen. Wir haben eine Software, da ist das Auto selbst fährt. Kannst du noch mal wiederholen? Ich habe nicht verstanden. Die andere Möglichkeit ist einfach zu warten, bis diese selbstfahrenden Autos kommen. Die haben eine Software, nein. wo das Auto einfach selbst nein. fährt. Nein, nein, dafür bin ich zu sehr in meinen Willen. <lacht> Therefore, I'm too much in my will. Okay. okay. Ja, ich möchte you, was you uh, zur Hingabe sagen. So, I would like to say something to sagen. surrender. Okay. Ja. Ich habe eine, eine, ja, ich habe eine kleine um, Erfahrung für mich in der letzten Zeit gesammelt. Es gibt Momente, I made a little experience for myself in the last time. Okay. Es gibt Momente, ähm, 
wenn ich zum Beispiel sehr, sehr, jetzt nur als Beispiel, sehr, sehr schlechte Arbeitstage habe, wo wenig Produktivität da ist und es sehr unberechenbar ist, This is only an example, but for, for example, when I have um, not so good working days where not so much productivity happens. Ja, und ich habe das Gefühl einfach, ich, so ein Gefühl von, ich verliere Zeit, äh, ich, ich möchte anders sein, ich will in mir drin sein, ich, ich will irg irgendwo anders existieren. And then there's a feeling I'm losing time. I want to um, be more inside myself. And was hast du gesagt? Möchtest mehr in dir sein? Und? Also ich will nicht in mir sein. Also ich will, ich will woanders existieren. Uh, also ich kann, ich, ich I, kann diese Situation nicht aushalten. Ja, yeah, also um, when I have the feeling I'm losing time, I don't want to be in myself. I want would to exist somewhere else. It's difficult to bear situation. Ja, in solchen Momenten, ich habe, wenn ich sage, das ist mein, eigentlich ist das einfach nur mein Ego, das das habe ich. Ich möchte woanders sein. Und eigentlich ja, ist es nur mein Ego, nicht, who wants to have something else and wants to be somewhere else. Und ich nehme mich ja. in diesem Moment zu ernst. And I take myself in this moment too serious. In diesem Moment right. verschwindet dieses Gefühl von Unwohlsein. Einfach. Es verschwindet einfach. In this moment, this, this feeling of uncomfortness uh, is disappearing. Einfach so. Right. Just right. out of a blue. Ja, so, ich bin so dann you, you... wieder präsent. <laughs> And then I'm present again. So you, you made a very good experience, actually, Trenti. Dann hast du eine sehr gute Erfahrung gemacht. Ja. So it's not really complicated, yeah? It's quite easy once you get a little, when you start to see what you just said, when you start to have your own experience, then everything can get a bit easier and a bit more directly. Es ist nicht sehr kompliziert, sondern eigentlich sehr einfach, wenn du so eine Erfahrung, wie du gerade beschrieben hast, gemacht hast. Und ähm, kannst du sehen, dass es, dass es einfacher wird. Ja, also dann höre ich auf, die ganze Zeit zu denken, zu denken, zu denken. Und das ist wirklich gute Technik. Einfach, ich nehme, ich nehme mich jetzt in diesem Moment nicht ernst. Das ist nur mein Ego und alles ist gut. Yeah, then I start thinking and think, yeah, thinking the, this, this, constantly thinking then stops and I take myself not too serious. All right, all right. Thank yeah. you. Good. Your son was learning to play piano tonight with O, oh, that was very sweet. Your son had learned to play with O together, that was very sweet. Ja, er liebt es. Er ist jetzt in sehr starker Schöpferkraft und probiert sich sehr viel aus. Und er weiß gar nicht, wohin er greifen soll, was er zuerst ausprobieren soll. Ja, yeah, he loves it really and he is in the moment and has, um, has a lot of creative power and wants to try out and doesn't know what, you, what else he likes to try out. Ja, uh, yeah, it's nice. You have a very nice son. Ja, du hast es, ja. Susan Zorn. Okay, so um, anybody else would like to contribute for uh, <coughs> Aditi? She would like to say something about surrender, maybe. Aditi möchte vielleicht noch was zur Hingabe sagen. Ich war sehr froh, die Woche nach Ostern noch geblieben zu sein in der Community, in dieser Energie. In mir ist gerade unheimlich Stille, so ein Frieden. Auch jetzt in der Meditation äh, ist es, als wenn mein Kopf aufgegangen ist, mein Verstand irgendwo weg ist. Gestern hat mir das ein bisschen Angst gemacht hier, weil ich doch noch so viel zu erledigen habe. Aber es also ist schön. 
it's a lot of science in me and also being here and in the meditation it's like the, the the head openings and yesterday it was a bit scary because i still have a lot to do but it's um, very beautiful uh, yeah. on so so since the weekend this this thing that opened for you is continuing you continue to be open day by day so seit dem Wochenende in dem Retreat, wo sich ja was für dich geöffnet hat, ist das immer noch offen und, oder öffnet sich weiter, so Tag für Tag? Ja. Yeah. Yes. Öffnen. Good, good. Wow, very nice. Das ist yeah. sehr schön. Yeah. Great. So that was the good value from this deep silent weekend we had. Ja, das so, war eine wunderbare... Erfahrung nutzen, die du von diesem stillen Wochenende hattest. So, so next, next month at the end of May. So nächsten Monat, am Ende im Mai. We're having a 10-day retreat in Spain at our house in Denia. Wir haben ein 10-Tages-Retreat in unserem Haus in Denia. In I, just came, I just came back from being there last week. Ich bin gerade zurückgekommen. Ich war letzte Woche dort. The weather is already very nice. Das Wetter ist bereits wunderbar. I went, went with my girls and they enjoyed swimming and um, playing in the garden. So this retreat, it starts on May the 26th. This will also be a silent retreat. And if you haven't been already to Spain, you'll find that the house we have is also incredibly wonderful. We have such a specially wonderful garden full of palm trees. And in, in the garden, we've placed four Mongolian yurts. And they're really, really wonderful. And so far we've made two bathrooms in the bushes. So if you stay in one of the yurts, your bathroom is in the bushes behind the yurt. So come come to Spain if you're able and enjoy the retreat and a bit of Mongolian hospitality. Okay, so um, I think Knesset is anybody who has a strong wish. We're gonna come to an end soon. Anybody else like to share something? You jump in quickly. If you look at Anushka, you can see she's sitting in one of these Mongolian yurts, and behind her you can see the grid. So this, this grid is collapsible. So in Mongolia they used to they used to fold up the house put it on a, uh, I don't know, a camel or some sort of animal. And then um, uh, they would then move it to a new place. So the whole of this, this very lovely building can be dismantled in one day and moved to another place. So we're very, very lucky to, to, uh, to, uh, to have now four of these in the garden. Ah, here's a picture, yeah. Can we go back to that picture? There was a picture from outside. Was it from Kieran? Was it you that put, or oh, maybe who posted the yurt picture? Can we have the yurt picture back? Yeah, just a second. What has appeared? Here we go. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, fine, fine. Don't change it. So 
here is a, one of the four years. You can see inside this grid, and um, you know it has enough space for a double bed and a single bed, and a refrigerator and air conditioned machine and blah blah blah. Very comfortable. And then outside there's a sitting area, and behind it in the bushes we're constructing. Well, we're constructing two bathrooms, and we'll be soon making two more bathrooms. So if you stay in one of these yurts, you get to use your bathroom in the bushes behind. I guess we, do we have a photo of the bathroom? Mm. Ah, here's the inside of the yurt. So even when it's hot, you can have the, we have AC to cool it inside. And as you can see, it's very beautifully made. The, the construction of the structure of the year is very lovely. Very lovely. Okay. Even a new school looks lovely tonight. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Some more pictures. <laughs> we, we recently, we moved one of the yurts. And this is the floor of the yurt being carried by our very strong handymans. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So um, uh, today is Tuesday. So next Thursday, we have another meeting at the same time, eight o'clock. So thank you.